Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to bring to you a July to kill a kit with style video. My layouts are not completed because I'm going to go to a crop August 10th and I'm going to finish them there. But um, along with that, I'm also going through all my layouts and I'm switching the uh, binding binders that I'm using. I am going to a three hole uh, punch binder. So I thought that I would bring some older um, pages to you along with newer because I do not scrapbook in chronological order. I scrap whatever I feel like it. Um, so some of these are like the first pages that I've ever done and some of them you've seen already. Um, this is the year 2006. There's not that many here. Um, but this is one of the first ones that I did and I noticed that like I don't I don't have any embossing. I don't have a lot of um, I call them tchotchkes, but embellishments on the page, um, no stitching, like I could have stitched around the bees and the little dragonfly there. Um, I still like the page, I'm not going to change it, um, because I like seeing where I started and where I'm going in my style of scrapbooking. So I like this, I like the content, my daughter was helping us clean, um, she looks like she just kind of rolled around in mud. The other thing is I used to uh, do a lot of computer. I would type out my journaling on the computer, cut it out, and stick it out. So, so there's one. This one, um, this is very thin paper, um, but it, this is another one where I did early on. As you can see, normally I would have embossed the flowers. I would have chalked around some of this stuff. Um, I did do some fussy cutting, though. Um, and added buttons, but uh, and this is from my Cricut. I cut that out from my Cricut along with the flower, but I like this page. Um, it could use a little more pizzazz, but I'm good with it. I won't change it. This one, um, once again, early on, uh, I made the pinwheels. I did not have double-sided paper, so I glued two pieces of paper together and then made the pinwheels. They're kind of chunky. I remember they were kind of a pain to make. Um, and then I wrote up here this morning I did I went to the uh, Tim Holtz stickers and I found four words that I liked but um, I like the way this one came out as well I like most of my pages even if they aren't heavily embellished this is one of my favorites all-time favorites uh, this I probably did about a year ago I used a Cricut border punch and um, the other half is underneath um, it, this one needed something. It needed some pizzazz. So I did some stitching, hand stitching here. And then um, this is just a strip that I glued down. Um, it also hides some of the uh, corners, how they met, because um, they were kind of off a little. But this is uh, one of my favorites. This paper is kind of thin as well. I might back it on a heavier cardstock. This one, Happy Easter. Um, I have a template that I have that has different florals on it, and this was one of the florals, so I punched that out and stitched it. It took a while to do, but I, I like how it came out. I might um, use that one here shortly and do a little bit more um, on the page. I even have like some vellum here. As you can see, I started inking the edges, so I'm progressing more. I got stitching here. But uh, another one that I liked, this was Easter morning 2006. Uh, and then these you probably have seen. These I did um, for the Secret Nut Secret Kit Club for the, um, the, the scrap parties. This was a grid layout that I did. I have to journal on that one yet. As well as uh, here's the Pop Rocks one that I have to journal on. <clears throat> And then I did this, I think this was uh, last month, which I like the way this one came out too. I have some tissue paper and I'm going to journal a little bit right here. I like the globe. Looks like I embossed the tissue paper with some butterflies and this is a nice wooden ruler. Um, but yeah. Um, so this is kind of the main purpose I wanted to share with you is these kits that I was talking about. So July, I went through all my papers. I put my papers together. Um, I Then I went through and I found sketches that I wanted to put with the papers. Then I went in, found my pictures, which are in the envelopes. And then I cut my papers down. Um, so they're all cut down. They're ready to go. They have embellishments. This is a two-page layout. 
the embellishments are in the, the sleeves. Um, I take a picture of them after I, I lay out everything and cut everything down. And when I go to the crop, that's when I will uh, start gluing down, sticking down the main parts. Um, here's some more embellishments that I have, the tag. And then what I will do, um, this one, I even have the die cuts and the um, stenciling that I want to do with some ribbing. Then what I will do is I will add to it. Um, you know, if I want to do some stenciling or add embellishments, I'll pack a whole bunch of stuff like that in my big um, creative memories container. And but yeah, so I have about 16 or 17 of these, and I can't wait to get them glued down and finished, and then I can bring another video layout video to you probably mid August with the finished product. Now, so I'm going to do that all at my crop August 10th, so the rest of August I will work on my travel um, kit that I put together for this month. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.